it's the paper trend we cannot ignore. And we say trend, but while the way women are approaching it might be fun and new, the actual concept comes through as sort of a throwback. I mean, have you visited the paper planner aisle at the craft store lately? It's exploded shelves and shelves of bright colored, happy calendars and organizers, complete with accessories that make it much more than just an appointment book. It's a calendar, a journal, and a scrapbook all in one. Megan Hepner called it, predicting this paper planner explosion months ago here on the show. She's back today with what's new and what's emerging for the calendar year to come. It's so great to see you. Thank you. Years ago. Uh, years. Have, yeah, every year we bring a little bit new twist to it. And it's so fun. I love this tradition. So not new. Paper planner's not new. No. But would you say two or three years, the last two or three years, yes. it's really been yes. emerging? Yeah, and every year it grows a little more. And like you said, now it's like kapow. Which I think some people are surprised that it's stuck around the way yeah. it has a little bit, right? I'm not, but I know some people are because it had seems it. old school. You knew. You kind of felt in your well, bones. Well, the crafter in me knew. Going the scrapbooker somewhere. in me knew, yeah. So then peer into your crafting crystal ball for us. Ooh. How do you see paper planning evolving in 2017? You know, it's already growing a mind of its own, just like the popular things do, right? They take these little turns and everyone hangs onto the piece they like. There's a few types. One uh, I'll just cover briefly is called bullet journaling, and it's taking all the layers out of the planner, you're still using the planner, but with very list-oriented. It's a whole world all on its own. It's really cool. So if you love the to-do list, then yes. bullet journaling. If you're a taskmaster, I bet you are, because you get a lot done. Well, you would like it. Cause I'm you, a checker. And there's like codes, and it's really cool. But codes? Also, yeah, co like this forward arrow means I carry it over to tomorrow. This means oh. I, you know, there's a whole science to it. It's really neat. I would get into that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm color-coded and doodling and creative still. So what products are out there that support, let's say, bullet journaling? I'll show journaling. you some. Yeah, there's some new um, planner types. The planner itself has evolved. So the first time you and I talked about the kind of planners of today, uh -huh. there were two basic sizes. There were a few more, but the commons were A5, which is this size. Okay. Well, sorry, I'll show you this, this size. Mm -hmm. And then there was the personal. And you saw pretty much these two. Okay. Now, because of list makers and the life that's taking, you're seeing even smaller, like this size. This is a new Heidi Swap product. This is Simple Stories Carpe Diem, and that's Webster's Pages. That's the other thing. More and more brands are getting all over this and doing their own awesome thing to it, which I, I think is amazing. So why are we going smaller if we're, if we're touting this as a creative exercise? Well, you can still be creative just in drawing and doodling, and it's portable, it's easy, and it's very much planner specific in, this is what I have to do, and I'm gonna do it to it. Whereas the bigger planners uh -huh. are more I hate to use the word scrapbook even though I'm a dire scrapbooker because sometimes that's a no-no, but they truly are a memory-keeping device. Well, that word scrapbook has come with now kind of a stigma, if kind you will. Of. I think we're getting past it, but for a while there, we would say memory-keeping or other terms to mm -hmm. kind of tiptoe around what the But that's the what we're doing here. We're exactly. scrapbooking. We're memory-keeping. I have some keeping. journaling. I have some photos. This is the new Jilly Bean Soup planner line, and they are a, scrap a scrapbooking company also, so it's very natural for scrapbooking uh -huh. companies who already know that art so well to segue into this beautifully because they know that and they know how to appeal to a new market. And are these beautiful accessories custom tailored for the paper planner lover? Um, sometimes. This particular spread that you're looking at is not. I'm teaching a class in Lehigh at Paper Crush, and this is the class part of the class kit, so mm -hmm. it's a little teaser. I'm so excited. Um, but there are planner products that companies are coming out with that can still work for scrapbooking, but are very much being branded for planners and even to decorate planners. So this is a new thing. Brand new, I'm guessing we'll see at CHA, which is a craft and hobby show this coming weekend. Mm -hmm. Like, oh almost tattoos for your planner. Oh, you put it right on the on face the front, of the book. And they have a whole bunch of choices. This is, again, the Carpe Diem Simple Story. So that's a new cool twist. Uh -huh. Not only do you customize the inside, but you make the outside your own, too. Sometimes they're just blank and they're um, like a hard uh, chipboardy material right. that you can color on. So there's just different ways to really put your signature. Okay, so already two changes we're seeing. The size variations yes. that are available. Yes. We're decorating the outside of the planner, not yes. just the inside. What else? And even three is the, the method or the approach with that list journaling having this bullet, the bulleted journaling having uh -huh. this huge explosion all on its own. With the smaller scale, scale portable in your back pocket yes. type of a book. And then one thing that isn't new but more companies are accommodating is how, what after I've done this work. I love my planner. You know, I've got all these stories in it. My life is in here. But does it stay in there? Do I have to buy a new planner each year? Yeah, what do you year? do with all this I don't want to lose done. it. No. Those are my pictures and my thoughts. So you can take pre-existing memory-keeping products uh -huh. and say transplant it. Say scrapbooking. scrapbooking. I'm going to own it, girl. <laughs> so this, um, if those who watch your show religiously will remember I shared this last year. And it was my 2016, and I just... 
threw it in a binder. And because there are new punches coming out all the time, and not new in planner world, diehard planners are gonna be like, a punch to fit your planner is not a new thing, but scrapbookers are gonna jump on that because it's new in our market. Mm -hmm. It makes it so easy to add these two Look scrapbook albums. Babies. Isn't that fun? And so then it's just my planner, but preserved so I can reuse the shell. This is last year yeah. in a book form. Now in a scrapbook form, I'll say it too. Where do you keep this? Just on a shelf, part of your memory keeping system? Yeah, with system? my albums, yep. And I would technically call this a mini album. So uh -huh. scrapbookers will know that term because it's not a full 12 by 12, right. but it's certainly a scrapbooking album. So how have your processes evolved over the last little while? I mean, are you still doing your daily, what I have to do yeah, in these pages? Yeah, I, I tend to, it's funny, because that's something everyone will hone as they go. And I, I thought it's a one size fits all when I was new to it, right. not at all. And even your own style evolves. So at the first I started with very, a lot of emphasis on the week. That's what we were looking at here. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of time. Then I started using the at a glance month more. And okay. I find I put more energy here. This is the kind of the before. But it's because I can see it all in one place. Some people like more room to go into greater detail. Some mm -hmm. want it all at a glance. Some want little flippy guys in here. Some don't. You know, it's totally your call. And are you doing this literally on the go at the dentist's office when you're? I tend to. Okay. Um, the smaller stuff. Uh -huh. the, the stuff you see here, kind of the foundation, I do at home when I have some time in it's front of the TV. It's a crafting exercise. It is, but it doesn't take a lot of time. Okay. And then one more new thing I want to tell you is that companies are coming out with planner themes. Okay. So where I used to try to cram it all into one planner, uh -huh. okay, here's this section and this section. Now I can have, like this is the cooking version, but I can have a recipe planner. Okay. And I can have, there's one from uh, Carpe Diem that is Disneyland. And it's all Disney. It's uh, Disneyland, but Disney, and I love that one. Or um, for your kids, or you know, this or that or the other. If you like that concept and want to do it on your own without a specific kit, there's also ways, like in this one I did it in the back. So are I you just, telling me women are keeping multiple planners? Yes, but this is a way to do it all in one. So I wanted a, a Lulu section and a Maggie section, so I just added it to the back of my planner. Okay. Because I just don't need that much. If I were like my cousin Terry, she seriously goes to Disneyland once a week probably. I would have a Disney I planner. I want to be friends with your cousin Terry. I know, Terry. how long it passed, right? <laughs> but I am not that way, so I would have a section within mine, and I just did uh -huh. it with washi tape to make tabs, super easy. But then I'm on board with that new way of doing it but yeah. within its original home. Okay. Yeah, it's really cool. And then size, again, size is mm -hmm. a big one. Let me show well, you. as with many trends, it's kind of a repackaging, it's kind of a rebranding with different ways Options. to do it. Yeah, it's yeah. all about pick, choose your own adventure. It really is. Oh, and you were showing me this before. I love this is layout. Is this not gorgeous? This is Heidi Swap. Look how pretty and this, this is. This is the like intro to the whole planner, but now I can do a photo favorite each month. Uh -huh. Oh. I kind of love it. It definitely and feels approachable and doable for the busy mom on the go. Yes, and it even has like um, photo sleeves already built in. So you can tell scrapbooking is behind the, the madness, that sure, method. So, sure. Yeah, very yummy, very. Megan. It's just show and tell. I'll put a lot of Beautiful. this on my blog and an info on my class coming up because this is really like. Yeah, quickly. You want to know the tell details. Tell us when the class is. It is February 3rd. Okay. And it's in Lehigh, the darling class. It's space is limited. I only I have killer kits, like high. I, I want to say hundred dollar value, but I hate oh, wow. to put that on the record. At least seventy five dollar value. Nice. And the price tag won't be that. Okay. And um, so we have first come first serve. But um, come to my site, and I'll link over, and we can sign up. Paper planning come continues for twenty seventeen. She's yeah. the best friend to play with, oh, and so her nice. aunt Terry too combined. They're yeah, quite the cousin, party, I hear. Cousin. cousin. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, thank Megan. You.